Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I've got an update to data visualizations. That's right, if you've used Platform Analytics Workspace, data visualizations are the new dashboard. The workspace puts dashboards in workspaces and you put data visualizations on top of those pages. So what I've got up here is the store. I just want to show you back in May, there was an update. Uh, there was recently a bug fix in July, but that's not important. Back in May, there was some changes. I want to show you this particular one, new configuration setting to allow defined alternative group by available for users to change during chart use. This is reaching some feature parity with interactive filters that we knew on our previous dashboards. I'm going to use my SSH bar graph, which you can see right behind me, to show you what this looks like. So I'm in my workspace, but what I'm doing here is I'm interacting with a landing page that is based on a platform analytics workspace dashboard. So I'm just going to click the edit button and this is what it looks like to edit a dashboard. Here I've got my SSH episode volume and wouldn't it be nice if we could come in here and change how this is grouped and displayed to the user without having to put four different bar charts on top of our workspace, allowing people to personalize the look and feel of the workspace. So I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this one here real quick and we'll move my head out of the way. If you see here on the right hand side, we do have the group by section and right now it's grouping by episode. But look at this add alternative group by link. So if we click that, we're gonna get a pop up and we get to select different fields from that table to add to the alternative group by. So if we were to look at that table now, we'll go ahead and exit editing mode, we can see we can change the group by by using this drop down, and when we're in here we have nothing to change it to. That's why we need to edit and add those alternatives. So let's bring that up again really quick, add alternatives, and I'm going to do category, and that's probably it for me. Maybe I'll do store application. I don't think store application is really going to make a big difference in my particular use case, but I will call your attention to this little selection right here. So I can say select visible by default that's the selector that's just above my head um, I'll just highlight it there it's kind of grayed out at the moment but that's when I hit that change group by button it showed up so we could just make sure this shows by default and people don't have to go looking for it so let's go ahead and save that and we'll exit editing mode and take a look at what we just did so I've got my group by there now I can change to category so that's all time you can see the groupings there for new releases fixes highlights minor updates we can look by store application that's just gonna be a hot mess I told you it wasn't gonna be helpful we can change the stack by. So let's go back to SSH episode and then let's change the category. Okay, now we've got something useful. I've got each episode stacked by the category that's available. Now I wanna show you something that has nothing to do with new features, but I'm just gonna make this new feature all that more helpful. So let's go and edit this again. We'll move my head out of the way and we will click on this little thing here to edit. And what I can do is I can, actually I don't wanna edit that. So let's go ahead and I wanna add I'm going to close this out and I'm going to add a new element and we're going to add a filter. Filtering used to be kind of a pain in the butt in uh, dashboards. Well, now it's super, super easy. So we're just going to do a single select filter and we got to specify what table we're using. So I'm using my SSH episode volume table, which is really um, SSH episode applications. But I'm going to filter by SSH episode and you'll see here, we'll select the right table, SSH episode volume. Notice I'm not pointing it to that whatsoever. This filter is just gonna apply, then we'll filter by SSH episode, and it does give you um, the information there about the filter source table and all that stuff at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. You can't see it at the moment because it's down below, probably behind my head, so let's move my head out of the way and scroll down, and sure enough, there's that filter. So I'm just going to click on here and drag it, or try to drag it up. Looks like it's still thinking a little bit. Uh, let's give it a label, actually let's give it a label. SSH episode is my label that I want. I'm going to save so that it saves everything that it was doing and I don't lose anything. And then I'm going to see if I can drag that up here while it's thinking about it. Doesn't like that, so let me just exit editing mode there. Okay, let me go back into editing mode um, and I'm going to grab that and I just want it to be at the top above the filter there. Above the, actually not the filter, but I want it to be above the graph. Let's see if we can grab this one and move it down a nudge. Nope, it's not letting me do that there. Huh, I did practice this earlier and I had this exactly where I wanted it. Let's just see, can I move this around at all? Oh wait, there we go. So I was grabbing by what looked like the little anchor there, but apparently I need to grab it by this piece. There we go. So I got it up above. Okay, maybe not the easiest to navigate once you have something big on the screen. And let's go ahead and shrink this. Uh, let's grab that. 
and we'll just shrink it to there. And I'm actually going to shrink this from that side too and move it over to the right hand side. I think that just looks a little more aesthetics, better aesthetics to me anyways. And the exit editing mode, okay now, so this is what's going to make this even better. So I'm going to group by now, um, we'll kill the category I'm stacked by, I'm going to group by category. So there's all time, but now I've got this new filter where I can say, well now show me the categories, which I usually do at the beginning of my episodes, by episode, and I can pick the episode I want. Let's go ahead and sort descending there, grab last week's episode, and there we've got it. I've got two compatibility updates, eight fixes, eight highlights, four minor updates, 12 new releases, and nine release notes fails hopefully all that adds up to 43 um, let's just make sure I'm pretty sure it does but let's make sure all that's coming through 2 plus 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 12 plus plus 9 is 43 all right so the math is good I was able to one have an alternate group by here on there and I can add filters really easily to my platform in Alex workspace and the really idea here is to make things easier for people to personalize and kind of tailor to what they want to see. So this is the default view. I'm going to enclose that filter there and you can see what we started with. And by just changing those quick settings, we could take advantage of that new feature for data visualizations in ServiceNow. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in a new and modern dashboarding experience in ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.